welcome back to the spider's web. Um, what we're going to do today, well, just for a bit of a change, I want to show you something, a bit of a trick that I've picked up. It involves weathering vehicles like this, for example, this uh, Warhammer 40,000 uh, Predator tank. It's one of my salamanders. And I just noticed recently that it hasn't been finished and I thought I'd finish them all. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting some scratches on. Now I don't know about you but when you see the ones in the magazines and that work the scratches are done by just putting silver or bulk gun metal along the edges it doesn't to me sit right um, I don't think a scratch on the tank would look like that so I do it a different way and the way I do it is we use the lightest possible green for the salamanders the lightest, if you're doing like ultramarines you do the lightest a fairly light blue like a an ice blue or some such a pale one and you also want tin bits and scorched brown or whatever the um, new, name of the new colours are uh, in this case we're doing obviously scorpion green for all these areas and we're going to be doing goblin green for the darker green areas I'm just wondering whether there's a, a better colour I could use instead of goblin green um, Scorpion green. I wonder if that would work better. No, that's a bit too dark. Uh, Elysian green might be better um, instead of the goblin green for the darker areas of green. Um, like the visor here and the um, a bit there and the little box at the back. Um, I've already done some, give them a bit of a weathered look to parts of it. Um, so I'll not be doing those because, as I said, they've already been weathered. That obviously it's been bashed and scratched and whatever. I will be doing some on the back just in case you're wondering why these on the scratches I've not tried to go over with anything. Um, so I think, yes. Your little chappy gums off, and let's get started, shall we? I'll show you. I'll show you the idea on the turrets here. But first of all, what I'm going to have to do is turn the camera off and go and get my reading glasses because at the moment I've just got my normal glasses on. So I shall be back in a few minutes. Okay, so I've changed glasses, and now what we'll do. Is we'll get our scorpion green because it's, this is the pale green colour. We're going to have a fine detail brush at a nice point, and then all we do is where you think there's going to be some. Um, oh, I know what I've done there. I've actually done that part in scorpion green, so it's not showing up. Right, so what I'll need to do first of all, before I can go anywhere else, is go over that part, do my highlight colour in Goblin Green, and I'll come back to this area again. So, I'll just go over this part with Goblin Green. There we go. So hopefully that will be all right. Wash my brush out. I'll do bits on the tank instead. Okay. 
So, where's my scorpion green? There we are. Let's go along. Hey, I'm sorry about that, I've just had a text. <laughs> right, so, we get our scorpion green. And let us do this area around the turret. So, what we'll do is we just do little what look like rays emanating from the sun. Just dot dash dot 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 dot. Don't be too fussy with them. You can just dot them. I think I started doing this and as I can see some already done. I don't know whether it's picking up on camera. It does look as though it is. Um, but you can do as much or as little of this as you wish. It's um, entirely up to you. It's your vehicle. But remember, where you need, where you do it, you need to leave some area big enough to go over again with the mix of scotch brown and the tin bits. I'm still using the old names for the paints because these are the ones I've got so I don't have the newer equivalents as yet so we'll just finish off on the way around it's looking a lot paler as you can see anyway you don't want any straight parts you want it all to be um, angled not angled so it's like um, what's we're looking for not exactly scattered just higgledy piggledy I suppose the best way of describing it would be I can put some here as well it doesn't have to be on um, where the actual turret is, you can put some. You can put you can put this anywhere you wish. Um, let's get some on these doorways here. Yeah, so we're just going to put some going across to make it look as though it's been bashed. And dented and let's face it it's a tank so we need to make it look as though it's gone through the walls because basically it's gone through the walls um, I said on this area like this I think we can just go a little bit mad and just dab it here in the And it does look a bit weird at the moment, but you'll soon see when we come around to doing the um, the darker colour that it will look quite impressive when it's finished. So let's let's just do some along this edge. I say you can put as much or as little of this on as you wish it's entirely up to you you need to make it um, you need to make it look as though it has been damaged but depending on the amount of damage you want Is how much damage it gets. It's all a matter of particular taste. Like most things when it comes to painting, it's 
very subjective and I'm going to show you this part I'm also going to show you um, I'll just do the the top bit work around the turret on camera and then I'll show you what I've done with other um, I'll, say, I'll show you what I've done. I'll I'll do a few more bits and bits of this. I'll say I'm holding the brush towards the back, so I'm not getting any uniform. I wasn't, but I am now because you think about it, if you don't have much control over it, you can probably get a much more realistic. Um, effect. There we go. It's just the next step where we put the darker colour on, where you'd need to have the control and full control of it because it's it's fiddly I'm not gonna lie it's fiddly but the effect is well worth it you could do this with black as well you can do it with um, you can use grey but we'll do all the top of the turret There we go. <coughs> so that's some of the green that's going on. I mean, in I think what I did with my other vehicles is I gave it a wash of um, a black, and that's sort of like dulled the colour down so you can see the uh, you see the paler green, but you can see it's on camera anyway so it's just a case of I'll move that out of the way and just get some of the tin bits and scorched brown just to dull it down a touch I don't know if I've not got much of this left again whatever colour you decide, however want to make it look is right because it's again your vehicle so I'm not telling you which colour or which shade of brown to use but it's got to look as though it's sort of like rusted metal that's been uh, exposed so what we do now is where the green is round the thing Around the um, or where the pale green is, we go over and just do little dots. Concentrating them all towards the inside, around the opening or the edge. And once you do it that way, you can get used to. There is something on the edge of that brush, and it's doing me nothing. Anyway, that's better. Let's try and get it back to a point. There we are. Okay. So it's. What was I saying then? Yeah, we need to get it round the round the edges of the area and work out but you didn't need some of the pale colour showing I still haven't got rid of that thing on the edge I think it's just a one single strand of a bristle 
and they might come in handy if you're doing very tiny dots as you can possibly make out it's doing so there you go this is how I do scratches and uh, paint damage it's dot 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 dots and as you can probably imagine the table is rocking all over the place because <laughs> no doubt the camera is moving as well go. So start at the edge and the edge in this case is around the turret and work your way out trying to follow as much as you can the pale colour that you put on. <coughs> Dee -dee. So this looks much more for me realistic than having um, yeah, just like silver lines and squiggles around the edge don't know whether you'll agree with me on this but if you look at a real tank you wouldn't see silver lines running around it You'll see the little marks like this. There we are. bit of water on the brush and the paint go a bit better oh yeah anyway where you see this slightly um, pale as I said when I did it with my other tanks my other vehicles I um, I gave the vehicle a wash over with a black but hopefully you get the idea <coughs> And it's this colour you use all the time whenever you're doing rust. So, as I said, that's just the top. Um, I'm going to carry on doing this after I've turned the camera off. But, just to give you an idea of how it's done, I'll bring in my whirlwind. And as you can see, from around there, that looks as though it's gone through the walls. Do you not think? Oops, got something else off. Even the paintwork on the back has have chipped. On the back doors. Along the sides. If I did anything on the front, I don't think I did. No, I haven't. There you go. So you've got the 
thingy me there, your little no. and I haven't done the tops of the missile launcher either, which I should have done I think. But never mind. There we go. Because though it's a fire effect on the uh, on the side around the edge of the turret mount, you got the battle damage from the effect that I've just shown you. So there you go. That's how I do scratches on my vehicles. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you try it yourself and see what you think it is as I say a much more realistic way of doing battle damage than just putting a little bit of um, like burn metal colour like global metal or silver or whatever the colours are called now iron breaker or what the heck else so if um, if you want to give that one a go, feel free. As I said, you just take the main body of the um, of the vehicle. In this case, it's green, um, and then you use the lightest possible colour you can get. So, if you're doing ultramarines, you'd use a pale blue. If you're doing uh, dark angels, you'd do against some uh, scorpion green. If you're doing blood angels, you'd use like a, an orangey colour, or possibly mix. Um, yellow with a bit of a spot of orange to make it even lighter um, or who else if it's if it's all black like uh, say um, oh what do you call it a chaos marine chapter or whatever then you'd use something like a um, a pale grey like fortress grey um, the only th way I'm not really sure how to go about altering this would be for something like the white scars, which are all white. I'll, it's uh, but it's just trial and error, I suppose. But seeing as I don't do any um, vehicles like that that's all white, it's a material. Um, I've not done any on my grey knights because they're not something I'm going to be playing. Um, that's just a collection it's just uh, models that I want to look rather neat and besides which the ethos with grey knights is they don't paint the, they don't paint the metal when they've uh, done it except for a spot of red or white here and there so it's all burn metal anyway so um, that's why I've not done my grey knights but that's how I've done my salamanders. Let's put it that way. I've, I've done a trip like this on most of my vehicles. There's only, as I say, this one yet that I haven't quite finished, which I'm going to do now. Um, and I'm also curious as to what I should do with these. Um, one of my neighbours bought. Um, Salt on Black Reach a while ago, and he just wanted them for the orcs. So I've got all my Space Marines, and I don't know what to do. And I say I've got all my Space Marines, even the Dreadnought. I don't know whether to carry them on with me, um, with my Salamander's army, <coughs> or whether or not to go for something completely different. And if I go for something completely different, do I make up my own chapter and say for example do one that's like a successor chapter to my salamanders so I can use them alongside my salamanders or do I just start something completely new I don't know so if anybody's any suggestions um, it would be greatly appreciated but for now I'm going to say um, 
look after yourselves take care god bless and bye for now